In this clip I'm going to demonstrate one way how to migrate data. One method to migrate data I'll now demonstrate is Migrate PV. This will migrate all the LVs from one disk to another disk. This is typically used if you have a failing disk and need to get the data migrated to another disk quickly. In this demonstration we will be migrating HDisk2 to HDisk3. Ok so there are disks. Let's have a look at H disk 2 which has the HVG volume group on it and we currently have just over 5 gig of data residing in that volume group. Let's see what file systems reside in HVG and we have just one slash holding. Let's see if it's mounted. Probably is and as in most live migrations all file systems would be mounted anyway. Let's get the size of this disk H disk 2 see what capacity it is and it is just over 17 gig let's get the capacity of the disk that we are going to bring in which is HDisk3 which is just over 70 gig so I think that's good ok let's just review the disks in apps BG which we probably already know but there we are it's HDisk2 ok so there are logical volumes in AppsVG. Now let's look at the logical volume that will be migrated, which is FSLV01. We can see it all resides on HDisk2, which it should do. Let's now check the log, log LV01. Again, that should be on HDisk2. It is. This is telling us stuff that we already know, but it's always good to confirm and reconfirm. OK, let's bring in the other disk into Apps VG. And it's now brought in. Let's now confirm that we have the disks with Apps VG, and we do HDisk3, HDisk2. OK, so let's now just go ahead and do the migration and the command to migrate one disk to another is migrate pv source disk destination disk in this example we're going from h disk 2 to h disk 3 that's completed let's just check h disk 2 there should be no data on there And there isn't no output returned, which is good. HDisk3, however, should have everything on there, which it does. So the migration has completed OK. Let's now just double check. Make sure the LPs all reside on HDisk3. And they do. Let's just check the log as well. Make sure that resides on HDisk3. and it does as expected okay so we've done the migration we can now get rid of H disk 2 so let's just reduce it from the volume group apps VG using the reduce VG command and that's now gone now that is accessible migration, let's just review the disks in HVG. All looks good.